What's up you guys? In this video, I'm gonna go over some COVID friendly activities to do that are actually cool in Charleston, South Carolina. It is currently August, 2020. The coronavirus is very much at large right now, especially here in South Carolina. And so we have a lot of new rules and regulations. You have to wear a mask. You can't get alcohol at bars or restaurants past 11. Um, there's parking restrictions at the beach. As a result, um, a lot of activities that you probably would enjoy doing here in Charleston may not be the best idea, but we still have plenty to do. So I'm just going to list out what I think are some great activities that have plenty of space and they're still fun and they might not result in you getting the coronavirus. <laughs> So first off, to kick off the weekend right, you should have an over-the-top ladies' night or gentlemen's night. Um, but yeah, because of the new regulations and all the bars are closing early and you're supposed to avoid people and whatnot, <laughs> you're obviously going to be spending a lot more quality time at your rental house or your hotel room if you have one of those. So you might as well stock it up and deck it out from the get-go so get lots of decorations pick a theme have everybody dress up do the party games the champagne you could even have a butler and buff come and uh, serve you and your crew um, or obviously for you gentlemen get some strippers <laughs> I think that would be a great way to just kind of kick off the weekend in a celebratory fashion and flick off the coronavirus because it's not gonna ruin your fun even though it tried really hard to Another really great option is a diva dance party. It's basically a private dance class for your group. So for bachelorette parties, birthdays, girls weekends, it is so much fun. You learn a little dance routine and it's, you know we have a lot of different options from Beyonce to Britney Spears to Spice Girls to Ariana Grande. We have a big list of really popular songs. You choose the song and we teach you the dance and you girls just look like Beyonce's backup dancers by the time you're done. Diva Dance is my company. I opened the one here in Charleston. It is a franchise all over the US. Look into it, it's awesome. It is so fun, so definitely check that out. We can do it at the studio or we can come to you if you prefer. So we can make it as COVID friendly as you want. Another great option is to have an epic beach day. And Honestly, I think you should just make it a beach stay. I think that right now the best move is going to be to stay at one of the beaches rather than downtown Charleston, which is small, cramped, compact, crowded, no space, um, whereas the beaches are wide open spaces with beautiful places and plenty of COVID friendly activities to do. Obviously, you could just spend the day maxing and relaxing out on the beach, drinking some drinks, or if you want to be a little more active. You could go kayaking, you could go paddle boarding, you could take a surf lesson, you could rent bikes or better yet, golf carts and just cruise around the whole island, do a scavenger hunt. I mean, there's just no end to the things you can do at the beach. Obviously, I love the beach. <laughs> which brings me to the next great option, which is to charter a boat. Now, lots of boats leave from the beaches, but they also leave from all areas of Charleston. You know, we have sailing charters. You can go on just regular boat, you know, motorboat rides. <laughs> Here in Folly, we have a sweet little pontoon party boat that can fit up to 18 people. That's perfect for bachelorette parties and bachelor parties and just big groups who are kind of partying because it just kind of cruises nice and slow and you can go fishing and there's yeah anyways there's all types of boats but then there's other boat options that are more you know open to the public which are not as exclusive and COVID friendly as the private boat charters so be sure to check that out one of my favorite things to do in Charleston you could tour and explore downtown Charleston by bikes I think that bikes are the best way to get around and you cover way more ground and they're really easy to hop on and off if there is something you want to stop and look at and check out you can just lock them up take some pics and all that good stuff um so i would definitely recommend looking into that holy city spokes i believe is a uh, one bike rental company that you could look into and 
that is a great way to spend a couple hours and maybe do a little bar crawl in the meantime or rooftop bars right now, but definitely look into that. If you are into live music, then you could enjoy some live music on the deck at the Poor House. They have live music seven days a week for free on their deck. That's kind of like a daytime thing. And then at nighttime, when they have their ticketed shows, then you can rent a table. And you definitely want to do that as soon as possible. They're always selling out of tables. But with a table, you and your group will have your own little bubble and uh, stay away from all that COVID floating around out there. <laughs> so Poor House, awesome music venue, live music. And on Sundays, they have their farmer's market and little daytime uh, Motown funk music. That's a lot of fun as well. A couple other fun things to do are scavenger hunts or a photo challenge. I made some for both Folly Beach and downtown. You can download it for free along with some other great resources. If you click the link to low to my, below, sorry, to my bachelorette bundle. Um, but yeah, and you can also find them online or you could just create your own. So that is another fun thing to do with the crew. Now, obviously we have a lot of breweries in town, so you could do a little brewery tour or pub crawl, whether self-guided or you could even have a party bus kind of bring you around. Um, I guess you just wanna be careful about the whole space thing. Some breweries are probably a little more COVID friendly than others, so just look into that. Besides breweries, another really cool place to visit that's actually brand new and big and spacious is the Firefly Distillery, which is the home of the original Sweet Tea Vodka. And they also have lots of other flavors, so you can go there, they have tastings, check it out. You could do a wine tasting at the Deepwater Vineyards. It's out in Guatemala. You can do private wine tastings, just book it in advance. There's a couple companies that can take you out there, provide transportation. There is Crafted Travel. They have a whole fleet of party buses and luxury vehicles. There's also Holy City Transportation. David, he's really awesome. He's a local and he will even take you on a little tour through downtown in his bus before heading out to the winery. And they both will take you by the angel oak tree, which is the oldest tree this side of the Mississippi. It is a really cool tree. <laughs> okay, so as far as COVID friendly things to do that are actually fun in Charleston, South Carolina, you could tour and explore downtown Charleston on bicycles. You could have an epic beach day or better yet, a beach stay. I think rather than staying downtown, Stay at the beach, so much more space and room for activities. At the beach, there are lots of things that you can do. You could take surf lessons, go kayaking, go stand up paddle boarding. You could rent bikes, better golf carts, and you know, cruise around the whole island, see all the sights, go on a scavenger hunt or a photo challenge. Check out my website to download some of those. You could just max and relax on the beach and soak up that vitamin C. Um, yeah, so many different things on the beach. So do that. You could charter a boat. A private boat charter is oh so exclusive and COVID friendly. <laughs> um, sailboats, motorboats, yachts, fishing boats, party boats. We got all the things. So I personally think that is the best way to explore Charleston's waterways obviously the only way. So yeah, charter boats and other options are diva dance parties for my ladies, my jam, I will be your instructor or one of my other girls will and that is so fun. I really can't even tell you how fun it is. Other options is to go do a wine tasting at Deepwater Vineyards. You could do a liquor tasting or at the Firefly Distillery, brand new. You could also enjoy live music at the Charleston Poor House or book a table for one of their nighttime ticketed shows, have your own little dance bubble, and dance the night away. Finally, you could go on a scavenger hunt or a photo challenge. The links are below. And of course, I need to add this in there. Put some south in your mouth. You gotta try our delicious southern cuisine. Get some 
catering or um, Callie's Hot Little Biscuit delivery for brunch is probably my top choice. So those were a few ideas for COVID friendly things to do that are actually fun in Charleston, South Carolina. So whether you are coming for a vacation or you're just planning a staycation, these are great options or at least ideas to kind of point you in the right direction. I hope you found this video useful. If you liked it, hit the little like button. And if you'd like more information about Charleston, be sure to check out my website, bakermanning.com or subscribe and hit the little bell notification to get notified when I post more videos, which I will be doing every week. And um, I am Baker Manning. Thank you for tuning in and uh, holla at your girl.